Yo guys, welcome back to a new PDCGO Dark Space video. Today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at a Malamar V Max Hydreigon deck. Yes, the mascot on the channel once again, Hydreigon. There's a lot of Hydreigon ideas I have, so don't worry. There will be many videos on this card, but the one I wanted to look at today is going to be with Malamar V Max. Malamar V Max is kind of like it's good, but like no one has really made it work. Like its attack max chamber is really powerful, especially with cards like Marnie and Reset Stamp. Um, so basically, we're just gonna try to use Hydreigon. Um, Use Hydreigon to build up Malamar VMAX, and then we also can use cards like Reset Stamp and Marnie to try to lock them out of the game with Max Jammer, uh, taking a card out of their hand and putting it at the bottom. We also have cards like Jesse and James to help us out a little bit too with locking them. So there's just a lot of locking we can do here with Malamar VMAX. This is the list I'm playing here. Not sure if I'm sold on this deck just yet, but in practice and in theory, the idea seems really good. So, if you're in the video, guys, go to our sponsor, Cardcaming TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PTCGO pack codes, guys, make sure you come over at Cardcaving TCG. Of course, guys, you're still going to pick up any Dark of the Blaze codes. Um, you can get them over at Cardcaving TCG for the cheapest. Of course, if you're looking for any other codes for any other set, like Sword and Shield or Rebel Clash, or maybe you're looking for the new Eternatus V V Max codes, or the new Pikachu V codes. Guys, you can get them over at Karkhaven TCG. If you also have any unused codes or cards you don't want to keep, you can actually give them to Karkhaven TCG and they will give you some cash and in-store credit for that stuff. So you can check out their bios to see what's what. And if you get any codes from Karkhaven, guys, make sure you use my discount code, code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Karkhaven in the process. So shout out Karkhaven, guys. Check them out and use code LDF. So let's take a look at the Malamar Hydreigon deck today. So this is the list I'm playing here. Um, again, not 100% sold on. This is rather the best version of the list I've come up with, but this is kind of what I've come up with. Now, as you can see, I'm not actually playing any Dedenne in here because I'm actually opting to play Power Plant. The whole idea behind the Malamar lock is hopefully you max jammer away one of their supporters and then you have a power plan in place so that the opponent cannot put a Dedenne down to draw out of the max jammer. So that's kind of why we're playing power plan. Because we have power plan, I've actually decided not to put any Dedenne in the deck myself and I've just opted for two copies of Crobat, not only because one, it can attack um, and two, it's just sometimes better to do Crobat than Dedenne. There's actually been a lot of situations where I'll do Dedenne and I was, you know, Dedenne and I'm like, oh, right, well, the day I changed to try to get Hyrule and Hydreigon but I'm discarding a Rare Candy and a Hydreigon to find stuff. So it's like, Crobat sometimes is better to draw you into Rare Candy Hydreigon as opposed to discarding your hand to find it because sometimes you just are looking for one more piece to the puzzle and you can Crobat into it. So that's why I feel like Crobat is still better in here. I've actually opted also to play an Eldegoss in here for Happy Match. You know, if we want to go, you know, Marnie, Malamar, or we want to go, you know, Jesse and James, we have that option available. And plus, Eldegoss can use Float Up with Hydreigon. It's not the end of the world to play it and it doesn't get blocked by power play. And I'm also playing one number on Darkrai. Uh, the whole logic behind this is it can be a nice early attacker. We can use Black Lance to maybe set some numbers up with Malamar, or we can use it, you know, again, just to kind of early game attack and gives up three prizes, and we can stamp my opponent to three cards. Uh, we can also use Dark Moon GX to uh, be annoying. We can either use it to um, just one energy to slow the opponent down to give us time to get a Hydreigon in play, or we can use it in the late game with six energy to knock something out. So just a nice card to have in here. Um, then I got 3-3 Malamar line. 3-3 um, might seem a little thick, but I don't want to play 4 Malamar V because, you know, we still have stuff like Umbreon Dark Rider use. So we don't have to use Malamar Vs right away. Though early Malamars are okay, you know, with Marnie. Um, but because the opponent still has a few resources left, it's still possible for them to get out of it. But at the same time, early Malamar V Max, early Umbreon Dark Rider doesn't matter. I don't want to play 4 Malamar Vs. So I don't think we need 4. I think I'm fine with 3. Um, and I am playing 3 Malamar V Max just to draw it a lot easier. Um... I got Mew just to protect our bench from, you know, sniping attacks, just in case they want to snipe Dino or Hydreigon down. I am playing a 4 Hydreigon line. All the Stage 2 decks I'm playing right now, using Stage 2 as a support Pokemon, I've just bumped it up to a 4 of just higher odds of finding it. Stage 2 suck right now in the standard format, so having very high odds of finding Stage 2s when you're just playing a 4 line of them just makes sense. Uh, smart stuff, simple Dark Box stuff, Energy Retrieval, get Energy back. Uh, simple Search card. 4 Candy, 2 Stamp. Stamp, very important in here in the late game to try to lock them with Max Jammer. Two power plant for Dedenne lock. Two boss. Uh, four Marnie for research. Marnie, very important in here with Malamar. And I got one Jesse and James. Again, just another disruption card we can try to utilize with Eldegoss and stuff. Um, now, the tools, again, I want to play more like switching cards in here. So I would maybe try to bump up the air balloon count to two or three. But I am playing two, uh, one air balloon. And then I got one big charm. Malamar only has 310 HP. It's actually pretty easy to knock out for a lot of decks. So just giving it 340 HP just makes it a lot more safer. And I got one hiding dark and nine basic dark energy to round out the list. Um, you could go 8 dark, one, 2 hiding dark if you want. I don't mind that either. Um, it's optional if you want. Wouldn't mind that. 
Um, if you want to go eight darks, two high and darks. But that's it for the list. Let's go try it out and see in action. Okay, guys, let's get into our first match with Malamar Hydreigon here. We'll see how it does and how it goes. Um, are we doing the coin flip, which is good? We're playing against a Welder deck, but we still want to go second anyways. Try to get a turn two Hydreigon. Uh, not with this hand. We have Hydreigon and access to Dino. Not much else. I'm hoping we can maybe do a Crobat next turn. Because ideally, we do want to be able to get the Hydreigon and play turn two. That, that's the idea with this deck. You want to get turn two Hydreigon, attack early on with either Darkrai or Malamar. Burning Scarf. Okay, then. Well, as long as we can get that nice old... Ma whatever Malamar VMAX is. Oh, no. Bro, why is this Wi-Fi zone popping up? Don't disconnect. I'm the only one in the house right now. I'm the only one using the internet. There's no reason that symbol should ever pop up. That is kind of frustrating. Okay. Hopefully, we never see that symbol again. That's, that gives me PTSD, bro. The amount of games I've lost because of it, it's not cool. No, but seriously, I'm the only one in the house. That symbol should not pop up. All right. Uh, we'll draw an extra card. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Evil Incense is not actually helping. I don't know why I actually realized. Our hand's actually decent. Bro. Okay. Can that symbol pop up again? Don't pop up anymore. Dude, seriously. I'm the only one in the house. There's no reason the symbol should pop up. Hmm. Dude, no, don't disconnect me. Okay, good. Gave me a heart attack. Uh, let's get rid of... Get rid of boss? I don't think we need the boss. We'll get Dino here. I mean, we could just go Crobat, I guess. Just like it draws two cards. But then we'll be in top deck mode. I don't know if that's actually... F mm. You know what? Let's just go for Dino. Screw it. Top deck mode, here we come. I don't trust it, but it is what it is. We can always do drag off into a Malmar VMAX anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't know. I just, but Crobat was only drawn us two cards. Like, Crobat was not very good. I guess we could have saved the hand and then waited to do Crobat, I guess. That would have been okay. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it would have been for the better to do Crobat. I don't know. Like, drawing two cards, like, I don't think two cards will find it. Like, we'd have to, like, draw into, like, a Dino and a Research or something to make it good. Or re de Research Rare Candy or something. I don't know. Like, that just wasn't going to happen. Um, it just wasn't going to happen. So, I, I think we just put ourselves in top deck mode. We can play it slow. We have, again, we have Drag Off. We can try to, like, slow the opponent down. We can still go into a Malmar VMAX in a couple turns. It's not that big of a deal to uh, do Drag Off or to uh, be in top deck mode. Besides, I got heart of the cards. If we just draw a rare candy here, we just guarantee the Malamar VMAX and try to lock him. Like, it's easy peasy. We'll see what my opponent tries to do here with their high heat blast. They, they're probably going to flare starter. We'll see what kind of fire deck they're playing and what main attacker they have. The only attacker I'm kind of scared of could be possibly like a, a Torkoal V. That could be pretty annoying. Torkoal could be a bit of an issue if my opponent is playing Torkoal. I don't know if I want to play against a Torkoal V. As opposed to maybe a, uh, like, a Reshizar deck or something, or Scorch or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna Flare Starter? Okay, so, yeah, we'll see if we can draw something. We can even win sense for the Malmar VMAX at the end of the deck. We can do Drag Off. I guess it doesn't matter what we do Drag Off to. Jesse and James top deck. Mm, it's not very good. All right, we'll Drag Off for 30. And then we'll Evo Incense for Malamar next turn. And then we can do Jesse and James, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, they're playing greens. Oh, they actually could, and they, if they want, they could get a possible Wonders Lab here if they're playing the... Well, if they do that, they can't attack. Well, they guess they could, actually. If they're playing Sun Scorch, they actually could get Wonders Lab. I should have played the Evo Incense. Forgot to do that. Quick Ball Welder. Hmm. Now, will see what happens here. Quick ball. They don't play to Dene though, which is good. So these Max Jammer is really good if they don't have Dene. They got Breaksard. Ooh, Breaksard's a little scary. We kind of cripple them. We can take away one of their outs. We never Marnie, but we have enough hand shuffle cards that he doesn't really get much value out of Brilliant Flare, anyways. High glass for 110. Okay, so this is actually fine. So we can take away the welder there. Oh, we drew the V. Okay, well, we drew the V Max. Look at that. Alright, we'll play this now. I guess we kind of don't have a choice. Alright, we have a decent amount of outs here, it looks like. So hopefully we can trust something soon. I'll put that there, sure. I'm not going to bother with the Jesse and James. Yeah, I don't think we need to do Jesse and James. Let's just go Max Jammer. Knock this out. 
Hope to take away a good card. We're definitely gonna take that welder away. Um, triple energy. Huh. I don't know what that. I guess Charizard V Max. That could be a problem. Charizard V Max easily one shots Malamar. Another energy. Yeah, we can build the other Malamar. See, top deck mode's not too bad after all. Not too bad. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know at this point. Uh, we could do Jesse and James next turn, I guess, which is what we're gonna do. Again, I don't know if we're gonna get that but at this point, we're slowly building up Malamar anyways. By the time we get the Malamar built up, we'll probably be set up anyway, so maybe it's not a big deal to do Jesse and James. We just got top deck something, and we should be fine. But actually, if I do Jesse and James, we might actually draw a quick ball, and then we can't do Crobat. Maybe, yeah, maybe I shouldn't do Jesse and James. I don't, there's no reason to right now anyways. And again, taking away their welder there is pretty good. They're just gonna high heat blast me. That's fine. We got 90 HP left. Hey, look at that. We drew the Crobat. Okay, so we can go here. We can probably just need James from two, right? Do you know? Okay. We can take away most of their hand here, which I'm going to do. So we're going to put this down. We'll Jesse and James away the Hydreigon and Dino. Make them discard two. Let's we'll see what they get rid of here. I mean, their hand wasn't insane, but still. I think if we put them, like, completely get rid of their hand, I think we'll be chilling. I think we'll be chilling. We can keep them in top deck mode with Max Jammer. The next turn we can research. We go from there. I think they got rid of a uh, triple and something else. Let's go with the Jesse and James. No, don't pop up. No, this Wi-Fi symbol. Okay, please don't disconnect me. I'm the only one using the internet right now. Why is that even popping up? Okay, Max Jammer. Put the fire at the bottom of the deck. They can do Crimson Pillar, I guess. I don't know. I think we've got him though. The Jesse and James Malamar lock is real. I mean, they're playing a deck that probably, like, doesn't really like to see a deck like this, too, which is pretty good. Um, yeah. I don't think they have any way they can get out of this. Yeah, they drew a Burning Scarf, so we got them in top deck mode here. Yeah, they're going for that Crimson Flame Pillar. Attach five basic energies. Okay, so they can put all the energy on this. They can knock me out next turn, so we need to not whiff an energy. Or we can draw a Rare Hydreigon, and then we can attack without having to mainly attach. So that's fine. Okay. They're still going to be in top deck mode, though, so it's all good. If only we played Mew. We get confused too? I forgot about that. Ooh, that's kind of a problem. We drew a Marnie. Alright, we're just gonna research. That's fine. As long as we don't have energy for this boy, we're happy. Ooh, we got hide energy. I mean, we can just stamp him next turn, which seems fine. Okay. Bro, no! Don't just, Dude, if we get disconnected, I swear. Um, we can... F There's no harm in flipping to attack, I guess, so... Might as well. We hit heads any- Bro, just busted stuff. He's in literal top deck mode now, so if he doesn't draw a Pokemon here, it's game over. That's pretty good. Nice. Looks like Malamar VMAX is going to win. But yeah, a deck like a Greens deck and Welder decks, they probably take L's to Max Jammer anyways, because their deck already plays a very scarce amount of ways to draw a card, so when you do lock their hand with Max Jammer and stuff like that, put them in top deck mode. Like, you're already, like, at a good advantage. So that's one thing about playing this Malamar deck, is you could- you have a decent chance at beating these welder based decks that don't have an insane amount of draw plus with power plant combined will they draw a boss i don't think it matters yeah they're just gonna knock out crobat yeah that's gonna be game look at that just, we top deck mode them out of even being able to draw into any other basic and that is going to be it for game number one pretty quick match we didn't even get to get the hydreigon in play there but it doesn't even matter yeah they just do that yeah okay that's 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 Malamar. Like that's one thing about this deck. If you if you're getting annoyed at playing against all these Wilder decks, play some Malamar. Hopefully that Wi-Fi symbol doesn't pop up again. I seriously don't know why I might get lagged out here because I'm the only one in my house right now using the internet. So there's no reason there should be any connection issues. All right, guys, get into another match with Malamar Hydreigon here. We'll see how we do in another match here. See if we can hopefully win a game. I've been getting some pretty bad hands with this deck. Like I've been trying to find a few games. Um, and I've been getting some terrible starting hands and terrible hands in general. So hopefully our luck is a little bit better this time. My hands have just been really bad. I like I have so many like basics and outs for bait. I don't know. My hands have just been bad. And it's just been triggering. Um, you get a Mew start. Like I don't really like showing games where I get bad starts because I don't really feel like it's entertaining to watch like someone have a bad start. You know, it's cool if you make a comeback. But for me, I just get too tilted and it just hurts the quality of the video. So that's why I don't, that's why I do show most games where I do well. Um, unfortunately, again, our starting hand is pretty abysmal. Uh, we can get a Dino, I guess. Looks like we have our Malamars in the deck. Not much I can do. 
I guess we'll play this. We know they have Chaotic Swell. We might as well just put that down now. Not much I can do. I mean, yeah. Again, my hands with this deck have been pretty, pretty poor. I mean, I don't know. I'm cursed with the Hydreigon Malamar deck. Okay, they just have this. All right, we do have the Marnie them, unfortunately. Maybe not. Okay, so let's go here for... I think we're just going to take the Malamar. We can play it slow for a couple turns. We're just going to take Malamar. We're going to Marnie, hopefully get something decent. Well, I've seen worse. Uh, we can Crobat for three, try to get some extra cards that can help us. Hydreigon, but no rare candy. Yep, sounds about right. All right, we'll pass. Next turn, we can bench this. We'll have to do Crobat again and pray that we draw. We could actually just do Jesse and James next turn. And then we can Crobat for like maybe four or five cards, try to get the rare candy Hydreigon. But the chances that we also get the Malamar VMAX and the energy are pretty low. Oh, they're playing an ADP deck. I thought they were playing Luke Metal because they had the Metal Goggles. But yeah, it looks like they're playing ADP. And there's a chance they're stuck here thanks to the Power Plant, right? So that's hopefully what's going to happen. Just like that. Just like that. You'll love to see it. And yeah, okay, just knock out. I'm fine with this. Five prizes left is not the end of the world. Um, here we go. Let's see what we draw. <sighs> okay, here's what we'll do. Bench this. We'll Jesse and James away the energy retrieval. We'll, we'll leave him with a zero card hand. This, I mean, this is still theoretically fine. They're still in top deck mode. Um, there we go. Finally got the Rick and Hydreigon. Uh, we do have to lose a stamp though, which stamp is actually good in this matchup. Uh, let's attach and pass. Okay, next turn we should pop off. They're in complete top deck mode. Uh, yeah, let's see what they do. They could still draw a Zacian Intrepid Sword, uh, but I don't, I don't mind if they do that. Just a metal and a pass. Okay, so they can hit me for thirty. And they, I guess they can build a Boltman Ray, but that doesn't matter. We'll see where they put this energy. It's most likely going on the ADP. Hmm. On themselves? Okay. We'll research. Okay. We didn't get the Malamar V Max. If we actually got one more energy, we could have attacked with Black Lance. But we can brain shake them here and confuse them, which doesn't sound like a bad idea. We could also just drag off the Dedene. That actually does sound fine, dragging off the Dene here. Make him draw an energy. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Because if they confuse, they need to retreat to Alter Creation. So yeah, I think we're gonna drag off the Dedene. And then we can knock it out with Darkrai maybe next turn. We'll see what happens. I think dragging off the Dedene here is the correct play. They're still in top deck mode, thanks for Jesse and James. Oh, they drew Zacian, so they can start drawing three cards now. Actually, if they find energy here, that's good because that's a one less card that's a supporter. But no, we drew them. Okay, here we go. Here's what we'll do. We'll boss out the ADP. And we'll max jam or hold the energy in case they boss up Crobat or something and try to trap it. And... <laughs> I guess give them the research? Make them Crobat. They'll still get six cards, right? Oh, man, this sucks. That was a really good Zacian. Yikes, man. What do I want? Like, I guess we just make him do research. Make him discard a boss. I guess. I don't know. I guess, like, they'll see more outs with Crobat. I don't know. They'll, they'll probably still research into Crobat. It probably didn't matter. That was just... But I guess if they draw something like a boss here, they have to research way two boss. So I think doing research is fine. No, a Zamazenta. Uh-oh. We're out of boss, too. Yeah, see, there's the boss, my Malamar. There's an Alter Creation. Okay. So they're going to hold their research. So we can actually keep them in top deck mode here. Uh, we can retreat. We could also try to dig for the other Malamar, but I think we just retreat. This is a weird game. But now they're officially in top deck mode. We do have to deal with the Zamazenta, though, which is kind of an issue. But we have Umbreon Darkrai and Crobat. So we'll keep them in top deck mode for a couple turns. Take our three prizes here. Research. Calm. Those are all good cards. Okay. We might just have the research next turn, I think, and then try to attack with this thing. We can snipe the Dedene. Alright, let's see if they draw anything here. We know there's a Crobat at the bottom of their deck, so anything is possible. Another Zam. Two Trepid Sword. So, this thing is still kind of a problem. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we definitely have to do research here, I think, 100%. Oh, 
Oh, there goes all my quick balls. <laughs> Not much I can do about that. We're just gonna dump one of the dinos, I think. Don't wanna get rid of too many basics here, so this is research. I guess we could have kept the calm and got rid of Malamar VMAX, but I don't know. Okay. We are one energy off. I think we're just gonna have to max jammer here, slow him down again. Catch here. We're one energy short of attacking, unfortunately, so. Yeah, we're just gonna hit him with a max jammer, I think. And just slow him down a little bit. Take away that Crobat. They can't do Dedenne. That's pretty good. Alright. And we can Marnie them next turn and hope that we attack with Darkrai. This is a weird game, bro. This is a very weird game. Okay. So they drew a Water Energy, I think, right? Cherish Ball Switch was in their hand. And then Trepid Sword. Okay. We could still keep doing Max Jammer until we can build up Darkrai. That's not terrible. I actually wouldn't even mind putting the Hide Energy on this. Do you want a Marnie? Let's go here. I think we just want to start attacking as quick as possible. Hopefully we can get an energy. Nice. We got retrieval too, which is good. Okay. That's cool. Wish we had air balloon actually. I don't like losing energy, but we have energy retrieval. So it's fine. We need to start attacking. It sucks we don't have any boss left. We have to wait until something gets knocked out before we can drop out the goss. But this is fine though. Uh, we can threaten the Dedenne. Unfortunately, it actually survives with 10 HP, but we can still threaten some damage here. We'll see. They probably have a switch, right? Well, maybe not. They're down one switch. We know there was a switch at the bottom of their deck from that Marnie we just did. So maybe they don't have a switch here. I mean, this is still losable because they have done Alter Creation, so, like, it's still really bad. Like, and we have two Crobats in play. Just an Intrepid Sword, though? Okay, yeah, this should be about cleaned up. Actually, with the Metal Goggles, have saved him, no one went up. Okay. There's Elder Goss. Okay. Uh, it's gonna hold the hand. But well, we could Dark Moon him here. Nah. There's no... I don't see a reason to do Dark Moon. You can't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna Dark Moon. In fact, I think what we're actually gonna do is do this. We're gonna build up the Malamar now, just in case my opponent bosses up the Hydreigon and knocks it out with, um... with Zacian, right? Yeah, only Zacian knocked out. We could have done Dark Moon. Again, I don't really see the point of that. We're already too low on energy. I don't think we want to waste six energy like that. More energy is good. Hydreigon, okay. I think at this point we've won though. Let's see. I don't think they can do much here. They can't even one-shot my Darkrai unless they have a Zigzagoon. And they just retreat. We Actually, we just win by just Black Lancing. So they have to knock out this thing if they want to try to win. That could happen. They could knock out my Umbreon Darkrai this turn, which prevents us from winning. Uh, they could well, they can knock out Umbreon Darkrai, stamp to one, or Marnie me, take away my Eldegoss, we're out of Pokecom, and we're out of Quick Ball. So there's like no way to find Eldegoss. Nope, just a Brave Blade, and that will be game with Malamar VMAX Hydreigon against ADP. Um, yeah, the way we won this was just quite simply... Slow the opponent down with Malamar. Zamazenta bought some, bought some, bought them some time, but again, we just slowed them down a little bit. Even with the Zacian, things kind of went a little smooth there. Uh, took us a while to get set up, uh, but it is what it is. We actually don't. Oh, what? Oh, four pride, bro. So close. I'm actually not gonna buy a pack from the shop because I need those for trades. All right, guys, let's try out this Malamar Vmax Tango one more time. Uh, Malamar's been doing justice in this video, though. Uh, you know, locking the ADP out, beating ADP. You know, it always feels good to beat that atro atrocity of a deck. Uh, we'll see what Magno's playing. It's probably going to be a fire deck if I had to guess from the Charizard deck box. And hopefully the Wi-Fi symbol doesn't pop up. I don't know if it popped in the last game. I can't remember, but hoping it doesn't. Okay. How's our start looking here? Um, Not bad. We have turn two Hydreigon, which is good. At least our start is somewhat decent this time. We actually got a pretty decent starting hand. Yeah, hopefully our draws are just better. That... Like, this deck, I think, actually has some kind of potential behind it as, like, a fun rogue. But the problem is, for us anyways, my draws were just really clunky. Um, okay. Um, I definitely just want to pass here, right? Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Hopefully they don't Marnie me. We'll see what happens. Um, if they Marnie me, so what? Well, actually, not so what. It's bad if they Marnie me. But yeah, we'll just see if they hit me with a Marnie here. If not, we'll, we'll be chilling. Okay, Primate Wisdom. We could donk the Oranguru. Okay, no Marnie, you'll love to see it. And they are playing a fire deck. And they lose a lot of stuff here. Four energy and a reset stamp. 
Okay. So we know they're playing a fire deck with researches, but the, again, like in that first game, welder decks are actually pretty easy to control because they don't play that many draw sports. And because you can power play in a way their Dedenne, and if you're playing a fire deck with a higher Dedenne count, it's just really good stuff. Okay, so fire crystal. We'll see if they um, go spreading flames here. They could just build themselves up. This thing actually has enough HP to get from Malamar. I wouldn't mind maybe playing a Vitality Band in here, but I think Big Charm's just overall better. Ooh, that was a good draw. So here's what we'll do. We'll put the Malamar back. We'll definitely go Hydreigon. Looks like we prized two Hydreigons. Good thing we got the setup here, because we had a dig for Hydreigon. It wouldn't have been as likely. Uh, we'll get rid of the Energy Retrieval. Get the Malamar V. I think we just want to go Malamar V Max. Just slow him down as quick as possible. Drop a Crobat. Uh, try to get some energy here. Eh, not bad. Okay. Let's go. We could go Psy Power, which I think I'm actually going to do. I'm going to Psy Power here. I'm going to hold the hand too. We have the VMAX. Uh, we're going to Psy Power. We're going to put 30 damage on this, so we can't put a big heat energy on. And then we can still knock him out if he puts the heat energy on. Seems good. Okay. That's actually good. We got damage on this thing, so we can set it up for Max Jammer Knockout. And then next turn, hopefully we can Marnie into a knockout here on the Oranguru and trap my opponent. Yeah, they're playing Torkoal. Torkoal is a little bit of an issue because it does have the ability to remove my energy. And we don't have that much energy. We've already wasted energy retrieval, so not looking ideal. And they have a Welder to the Torkoal. Honestly, I might just Mew Psy Power this again so it doesn't get powered up. Okay, never mind. They're just going to keep Welder into Victini. Will they find a switch this time? No, they're going to still attach. Okay, they have a, Okay, they do have a switch. I don't really care if Mew gets knocked out, so that's fine. Giant Hearth. Primate Wisdom. I guess this thing kind of hurts us a little bit because it does allow them to draw an extra card, so that could be an issue. All right, here's to hoping we don't whiff two energy here off of a Marnie. Again, we still have access to more Crobats. We should be okay. Again, I am a little scared of this Torkoal, though. Steam Crush is kind of an issue for us. We'll set the hopefully avoid it. It does also have a lot of HP, so we have a two-shot it, which I don't like. We can knock out the Victini, though, and they didn't put energy on this, which they definitely should have. I don't know why they put so much energy on Victini here. They should have just built up Torkoal. But uh, I ain't complaining, because now we don't have to worry, worry about Torkoal. So let's see what they do here. Yeah, take a prize. Can we get an attack off this turn is the question. Okay, wow. I'm a shuffle. I don't know how relevant this is. Still have our other retrieval. We have seven energy. Okay. Hopefully we find it here. Please don't whip the attack. That would really suck. The attack whip is real. Ah. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Bro. Told you. I told you my draws this game have been pretty bad. Alright. Not cool game. Not cool. Pokey gear. Let's see what supporter they get. They don't get it. Okay, that's good. They don't get anything. They can't do Dedenne here, so that's good. Hopefully, they don't have a giant hearth counter stadium. Man, that sucks, though. Marnie into nothing. And they do get a welder for the Torkoal. Oh, you hate to see it. Yeah, they get two energy. We can still take away the uh, thing. Oh, okay. They're popping off. Okay, I am actually kind of scared now. They got Cinderace, too. Bro, why did we have to whip the attack there? <laughs> See what I mean with these with this deck drawing pretty poorly today? Okay, we're gonna get another Malamar V down, I think. Or we could go Crobat. I you know what? Research should you know I'm gonna I'm gonna rely on research here. I'm just gonna rely on the research and pray that it gets me two energy. If it doesn't, I don't know what to tell you at this point. Yeah, it did. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say. That would have been a little nuts. A little nuts in the butts. Um I'm gonna bench this. I'm gonna hold the hand. I'm just gonna max jammer knockout. Finally knock out the Victini. They're probably gonna take me out with Torkoal here. Um. Okay, what do I want to take away here? I guess the scoop up net doesn't really matter. We'll take away the scoop up net though, I guess. So they can't do double primary with them. And Okay, and oh, I'll take a power plane, actually. That's pretty good. Alright, here comes the fun. Uh combustion pillar. Well, they could draw an energy here, and then they could knock me out Combustion Pillar. If they don't knock me out here, though, that's actually really good. If they take away my energy, that's really bad, because we bench locked ourselves. Maybe I shouldn't have benched this, actually. Okay. 
They don't KO me? Alright, this should be good. Uh, just put that down. There's Crobat. Long time no see, buddy. Just have the max jammer for now, I guess. We can two-shot this, though, which is good. We're gonna take away the... Hmm. Nah, I'll take away the welder. That's fine. We definitely want to just take away the welder here. Put it at the bottom of the deck. They can stamp me. Whatever. I mean, we still have Crobat. It's not the end of the world. I actually wouldn't mind a stamp, because this hand is still kind of bad. Okay. Don't know why they're putting so much energy on this. I don't really see what the point of that was. They should just put the energy here. Alright, well, here we go. Uh, I think I'm going to bring in the Malamar here. Ooh, Crobat's a victim. Alright, bring in the Malamar so I can put Air Balloon on it. We got to stamp the two. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll stamp them. We might have to Marnie them, though. I mean, we've... we still have other stamp, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. So we go here. We might have to boss this thing up. Well, we could just Eldegoss for research, right? Yeah, yeah, let's just do that. All right, here we go. Hopefully we don't with three energy. If we only get one, we might just go Dark Moon. Okay, we whiffed the energy. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh boy, this is not ideal. I should have to Dark Moon them. Oh, we might lose, man. This Torkoal is going to body me, bro. Ugh, that's not good. This is really not good. Hopefully they do Combustion Pillar. They can't two-shot me Steam Crush, which is good. So hopefully they just do Combustion Pillar here. I'd rather them do Combustion Pillar, but they probably realize I'm going to run out of energy at some point. No, stop doing that, bro. What do you mean, dog? All right. We have to build up Hydro... We could still just lose to this thing. This is really bad. Or maybe not, actually. We have a lot of HP. Right, can we please not whiff an attack here? Okay, let's go. We got the knockout. Finally gonna deal with this thing. I wish we could go Malamar, but... We only have the one air balloon. They are in top deck mode, which is pretty good. The only thing we lose to here is like a Cinderace VMAX. We actually have enough HP to take a hit from this thing, so that's pretty good. So this is... We know they have a stamp, right? Okay, so we want to thin the deck out a little bit. By one card, I mean we're just going to quick ball away two cards there. I want to keep... I don't want to get rid of anything else in this hand, so let's just do this. Calm. Don't need it. I mean, I'll take it. All right, here we go. Can we win the game? I don't know at this point. We might be too low on energy. If we had three prizes left, I think we could have won by going Crobat into Malamar. Palpad? Okay, so they're still in top deck mode, which is good. Alright, what are they doing? Just a pass? Big Charm? Cinder's VMAX does 170 damage. Plus the burn. We'd only have 180, so we still get knocked out by Cinder's VMAX. Well, I mean, we kind of have to attack here. What do we have left? One, we have three energy left. We have exactly three energy left in the deck. We might as well big charm this just in case. Here we go. All my opponent has to do is just, they could still retreat. So they still have some time to get set up here. Oh, great ball. And before they get a... Uh... Oh, there's the VMAX. Okay. Good to see. Not really. We might be able to win with Barney next turn. So if we do Marnie here... We need to draw the energy and the energy retrieval. Hmm. I mean, we have to move Hydreigon. They could still easily draw an energy here and just win the game. Oh no, we can't even... Wait, how'd they do 30 damage? Wait, what? Oh, I get... Oh no, because the Cinderace VMAX didn't take damage. It was the Cinderace that took damage. Okay, I was like, wait, why didn't they do 150? So we literally have to go into Malamar here. We have to Marty them. Oh, this stings. But we have to have the retrieval and the energy. Okay. Nice. 
gotta hope for the best. This is a close game. I mean, we could still lose to some again, Trap. We're completely out of energy right now, so we'll see. Max Jammer is going to have to be the most clutch Max Jammer of all time in order for us to really secure the win. If I see a boss in there, I'm taking it away. So here we go. Max Jammer, what do you got? And 10 damage off again. I have to take away the Quick Ball. Take away the Quick Ball in case they have Crobat. Uh, I don't know, actually, because they could still draw a Stadium. Oh, this is so close, guys. This is so close. Okay, nice. They misplayed. All right. I think that's game, then. Unless they Primate Wisdom into a boss's order. One time? I don't want to see it, bro. I don't want to see it. Okay, we've won. Oh, my goodness. What a game. What a game, bro. Holy cow. What a match. Oh, man. That was insane. That was an insane game. All right, well, I'm definitely going to wrap up the video here, guys, with the Malamar VMAX Hydreigon deck. A lot of fun to play. Really cool when, you know, it actually sets up. Um, we'll open up some packs. Got a lot of packs to open up here. We can open up, I guess, six packs. Uh, we'll buy a we'll buy an HSS pack from the shop. But anyways, yeah, Malamar VMAX Hydreigon. What do you guys think of it? Personally, I think the deck is actually really cool. Again, as long as your setups aren't, like, complete, you know, you know your setups aren't terrible and you're consistently getting the Hydreigon in play and attacking, you should be good. I mean, like, you could bump up the energy count on this deck, theoretically, which I guess, like, isn't terrible. I don't know. Uh, we'll just open up these packs here, see what we pull to end off today's PTCGO video. We'll see where that takes us. Reversal Yellhorn's pretty sick. Hey, look at that. We got a Grimmsnarl V. Not bad. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's PCO video, guys, on the Malamar VMAX Hydreigon deck. If you did, guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe down below. Yay, another full art. <laughs> Leave a like down below if you're new, um, if you enjoyed the video, and if you're new to the channel, help me subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 11,000 subscribers, guys. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my Patreon down below if you guys want to pledge two dollars a month to get access to exclusive content. Check it out. I will have a uh, expanded Vikable video. Hey, let's go, bro. We got a Crobat. Yo, I'm hype. I am hype, bro. I am hype. All right, could have been a full art. No, I'm kidding. That's really good, though. Let's go, boys. We got that Crobat. I don't mind having a locked one, either, because it's always good to have one, just in case. Uh, oh! Versal Hoopa and a Charizard God Packs. All right, that means this HSS pack's going to be good, right? Where is it at? That means this pack is going to have a Reverse Hollow DC and a Prime. Bro, if it does, I'm screaming, bro. I'm screaming. All right, come on. Okay, I actually don't mind. I might, I might actually do a video on this in Legacy at some point. It's actually a pretty cool card. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on another PTCGO video tomorrow. Bye-bye.